Boss Tube, it's Tiffany from Tiffin Stitches. How are you guys doing? It is currently Thursday. I am all over the place with my filming schedule. It's been almost two weeks. I think Monday will be two weeks um, since I filmed last, but it is March 29th, Thursday, March 29th. And it is late again. It is 10.09 Central Standard Time. So um, I am here with an update video, and as you can see, I am surrounded by stuff, some stuff I forgot to show you last week, and all sorts of stuff. I am going to start out by apologizing. I have a sinus infection. I actually went to the doctor today, and I had to get a steroid shot, which if any of you have had that, you know where they shoot it in your butt. And I have fluid all built up in my right ear. And so it like hurts when I swallow and it hurts when I like clench, clench my jaw at all. Um, and they said it's not infected yet, but it's on its way to getting there if I don't treat it because there's so much fluid backed up. And like, I don't want to get TMI with you guys, but it's been so clogged that like I was trying to pop my ear because I thought that that would help. And when I did, like fluid was coming out of my tear duct because this was so clogged. So like I have really dark circles and stuff because everything is just hurting. My ear keeps popping. It's popping while I'm talking to you guys. It's not fun. And um, if I cough a little bit, it's just kind of all yucky. Um, so I did go to the doctor today. I did get some antibiotics, but that is why I look like straight death. But, you know, we're an open community. I feel like there's no judgment here. So I decided to film anyways because I wanted to tell you guys some exciting stuff show you guys some exciting stuff and um, I have notes and I have a lot to talk about today so I think somebody shouted me out I can't remember who said this but somebody shouted me out recently and said they liked my channel because my videos were shorter I think it might have been Julie from Kansas City girl in a Colorado world I don't know somebody somebody said it and they made a point they're like and her videos are not too long and I was like oh well this week it's my it might be long um, because like, I have a lot to show you guys. Um, stuff I forgot to show you last week that I mentioned and then I didn't show it and in my haul section, finishing stuff, um, and whatnot. So let's dive in because I know that we don't need to be here for an hour. <clears throat> so like my, my update, my weekly update or my two week update, um, just on my life, everyday life, things are good besides like the whole being sick thing that has not been so fun. But um, I've really been putting a lot of effort into finishing up my Etsy shop. It is officially closed right now. Um, so no more orders can come in. But I do have orders that I still am shipping out. Because right before I closed, I did kind of like an inventory blowout. 60% off sale. And so I got a good number of orders. Um, just because I had stock printed that I didn't want to waste um, if possible. So I sold out of a lot of it. So it was actually really good that I did that. Um, but I have a lot of, a lot of orders. So I have 17 left. Or no, I just finished one, so 16. No, I finished two last night, one tonight. So I should be down to 14 orders now that have to be finished. Um, so I'm working to get all of those closed out by this weekend, hopefully. Sorry, I shook the camera. I picked my phone up to make sure I turned it on silent. Um, so I should be done with those. Hopefully by this weekend, that's the goal. And then I can, I've already sold my cutting machines. Um, and I figure if I ever reopen, I'll buy new cutting machines because um, they come out with new updates and new machines anyways. And I have some friends who are still running their business that wanted to get them. So I gave them a discounted price and I'm shipping those off once I finish all my orders. So yeah, I'm trying to get all that done so that they can get their machines. And um, yeah, so um, other than that, I just wanted to kind of touch base on my stitchy friends and um, the awesome pen pal information or stuff I've received, not information. Um, but my first pen pal kind of letter thing came from Jen from Stitching Social. She's up in Canada and it was like so fun to get a note from someone in Canada. I'm in the process of writing her her second note because I had already sent her one. Um, but she gave me this fun floss and then she the card she gave me, she wrote in, in her note that it reminded her of me because I'm saving to buy a house. And I think that that is just so cute. And I love the card and I love the note. Jen, I love you. I'm so excited that we're friends. Um, so keep an eye out. I'm writing you 
I'll probably get the note finished this weekend and then I will put it in the mail for you. So I got that and then um, I told you guys that I met Kellyanne and um, we've stayed in contact, we've been chatting and uh, she actually, she had a pattern that um, I've been looking for and haven't been able to find and so she gratefully sent it to me and she sent me this really pretty card um, with a cute little note inside. So I just like, I love getting stitchy mail, it makes me so happy. Um, speaking of stitchy mail, Julie, I, um, I'll show some stuff in haul. She knows that I got her today. I was at my, um, one of my local LNSs and I was looking for some of the stuff that I knew that she liked that was rare and older or out of print, you know, like older designers and stuff like that. And I found a couple, um, and I sent her pictures and I was like, do you like this? Do you like this? <laughs> she was like, yeah. So I'm like slowly but surely building up like this huge package to her and I need to ship it before it's going to cost me $30 to ship it um, because I just keep getting new stuff like she's going to, Julie you're going to have like a huge care package coming your way if I get it in the mail. I just need to get to the post office on a Saturday before noon. That's the problem. I have not been able to make it. I went the other day. I had everything in the car. I had my son with me and something happened I don't even know we were trying to run an errand and it took longer than expected and the post office closes at noon and it was like right at noon when I got done with like the prior thing so I didn't get to go to the post office so I just keep adding to it and Julie I promise I'm sending you something so keep an eye out I'm, I'm not lying I could show you all of it it's here like I have I have your threads pulled aside like they're right here I just have to put them together so I'm just, I'm really, really grateful for my stitchy friends, all the new ones that I'm making. I have a couple shout outs and I'll talk a little bit more about that, but I just, I just love you guys. I love this community and I don't have a lot of friends here. Um, I'm at that age where all of my friends are married and a lot of my friends don't live in Houston anymore. And so I don't have like a ton of girlfriends, especially. And so it's been so fun and so nice to meet you guys and, and get to know y'all. And I just, I'm just grateful. Um, so that leads us into shout outs. And I have one huge shout out because I'm so, so, so excited. And I've already mentioned her. But if you guys haven't heard, which you might be living under a rock. But my friend Julie, Gulf Coast Stitches, Gulf Coast Stitcher. Now I'm calling her 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 website but um Gulf Coast Stitcher Julie she announced today that she opened a online needle workshop and um, I have been one of the few that's been chatting with her about this so I've known and I'm so excited that you guys know and that you guys get to go and see her shop now um, I'm so proud of her such an awesome thing that she's done and she just like she was we were talking about different things and she kind of brought it up that it was something that she was interested in and I was like, go for it, girl. Like, that's awesome. And she hit the ground running. Like, when I say she made it happen, the girl made it happen. I don't even know how she figured out everything that she figured out in such a short period of time. But, um, man, she freaking, like, snapped her fingers and she had a website. And I was like, how in the world? Um, so it all happened really fast. But I'm going to link her shot down below. Um, she's still building up stock because this is all brand new, um, but she is getting stock in consistently and I love it. Um, I already ordered from her. I got my Eliza Belcock sampler from her for the yeah. stitch along and um, I did talk to her tonight and she wanted me to let you guys know that she is currently sold out of that because you guys are awesome and um, I know that I shared it. Well, I shared her website on my Instagram, but I know Michelle Bendy shared um, her website as well. And then she announced it today and she already sold out of the charts that she had gotten. But she wanted me to assure you that charts are already on the way um, and it's going to be it's going to be a good number. So um, if you wanted to order the Eliza Belcock sampler and be a part of the sale with us, then definitely flag favorite her shop, put it on your web browser and check back. Um, I'm sure she will announce when they're back in stock on her Instagram. So follow her there too. Hey, I totally am inserting this in at some point in the video because I totally forgot to mention the Victorian Motto Sampler Shop thread pack for the Eliza Bell Cox style. Um, Julie has announced it, Michelle announced it, but I wanted to make sure that everybody that um, views my videos also knows what's going on. Um, so if you are joining the sale, 
make sure that you, if you're interested, um, Nancy from Victoria Motto is putting together thread packs for the sal. And it's going to be $31 and some change, I think, for all of the threads. She is doing five yard skeins instead of her normal 20 yard skeins to make it a little bit easier on her and a little cheaper for us. But um, I think Julie said that if you buy the silks, it's like almost 300 bucks that you're supposed to use that are called for silks. Um, so Nancy's gonna do this for us for 30 something dollars. It's a really great deal. And so I know it's limited time. I know she's already had a lot of inquiries, but if you are interested in joining the sale and you wanna get the Victorian Motto Sampler Shop Thread Pack, definitely email Nancy. I've already linked all her stuff below. Um, and also she is dyeing a 46 count fabric for the project and get on the list for that as well because it's supposed to be awesome and she never lets us down. So um, if you're interested in joining the sale, get your get your chart from Julie at Gulf Coast Stitches when she restocks, get your threads from Nancy and your fabric from Nancy, and then swing on over to Mama Joan, get yourself a project bag. I got mine. It should be coming in. Actually, it already shipped, so I should have it here for the next video for sure. And um, so swing by her Etsy shop. I know she's on her third round of bags. They are selling out quick. Um, but yeah, sorry. I forgot to tell you guys that. So a little PSA announcement. Love you. Bye. Um, but she has Shakespeare's Peddler. She has Heartstring Samplery. Um, she has a lot of designers up on there right now. And let me just tell you, like one of her biggest things, which I think is awesome, is that she wanted to be able to provide fast shipping. Um, she knows she's been through different scenarios where, and we all have, where she hasn't gotten her order as timely as she would have liked. She spent a lot of money and the delays were long and I don't know what this is. It's really distracting me. I have really sensitive skin. I think I had the same problem last video. Um, but she, um, anyways, she wants to be really fast and that's her biggest thing. And I can tell you she freaking broke her back today to go to the post office, two post office runs from all the orders that came in today. And like I ordered today and I already got a, sh a tracking number and shipping notification like literally the same day. And I know that it can't always happen that way, but she's really, really dedicated to making sure that we get that good customer service. So if you have, you know, any needs in those with those designers, um, oh, and then um, obviously the Eliza Belcox, um, God, I'm going blank right now across the. I can't think of it. Guys, I have sickness brain. Um, hands across the sea. She carries those too. She's got some charts and she did sell out of the Eliza Belcox for right now, but she has other options and she has more on the way. So keep checking in as she builds up stock. You guys will love it. It's a really, really cool site and it's a really cool concept of like what she wants to achieve with it. So um, I'm really, really proud of you, Julie. Uh, such awesome things and I'm so glad that I could like sort of be a part of it and just... I'm just glad I can support you and yeah more about that stay till the end of the video if you saw the title of this video I am announcing a giveaway stay tuned till the end of the video for that um, so that's my first shout out so so proud um, definitely check her out and then my next one I wanted to shout out is Jennifer Upton and she gave me a shout out not in her last video but the video before I think um, and I've been watching her videos for a while so she um, She's kind of, I think she found me on Instagram first because I saw her liking some of my stuff and then she started watching my videos. And, um, anyways, hi Jennifer, um, love all of your projects and I think that it's, it's so much fun watching your videos. I like to see all the stash that you acquire and the stuff you do for work and all of that. So, um, thank you for the shout out and just know I have been watching your videos for a while and I really like them. Um, the next shout out I have is, I've already shouted her out before, but I feel like times have changed and we have like totally become friends um kansas city girl in a colorado world julie hi julie um so i shouted her out because she's one of the first floss tubes that i watched and um she did a video a couple weeks ago and she was like hey you know i don't get to watch floss tube that often but you have if you have a floss tube channel and you want me to check it out definitely leave it in the comments i'm always looking for new floss tubers and I was like, well, I've been watching her, so I'll like, I'll tell her that I have a floss tube. And um, so she came over and she started watching my videos from the beginning. And I could tell because she commented on them and she commented on them in order. And um, 
so we've kind of we've kind of hit it off and you know we've already got some stitch along stuff in the works and things like that for the future so you guys stay tuned um, but she's super sweet love all of her projects as well if you haven't checked her out check her out and I am going to do a better job of putting the links below what the issue is because I actually have been doing YouTube on my other channel for a long time and I'm very well versed in links but I do I've never filmed and uploaded directly from my phone all my other videos I had to export edit put them up and then I would do the description box while I was waiting for it to upload while I was on the computer and it was easy I could copy and paste the links well now I'm on my phone and it's not that easy so I have to put it on get it to upload then I have to go over to my computer and I have to put the, the links in there and I want to get it done fast for you guys and so a lot of times I film late and then I upload it while and I fall asleep while it's uploading or whatever and I don't put the links in the bottom bar and I have been really bad about that so I'm going to do better and I will link all of these channels below if I don't do it somebody yell at me in the comments um the next shout out I have that I've been watching they are new to floss tube but they're like taking the floss tube world by storm I'm pretty sure they already have like 800 subscribers and their last video has like 1700 views or something so I don't know the trick to to have all of those people find out about you because I think I've been doing this for this is video number eight right I think so I've been doing this for like almost three months and I am not at 722 subscribers so they must be like a big part of the community because these channels they grow so fast and I'm like how does that happen but I should probably tell you their name. Um, the Country Stitchers, Deb and Liz, they just put out their second video. So um, I really like their stuff. I think that it's awesome how they have a stitchy friendship and that they met stitching and that they've just developed such a strong friendship through it. So definitely check them out if you haven't. Um, and then the Backward Stitcher, her name is Sarah. Um, I've been watching her videos and I just think that she has a lot of fun projects. She she stitches a lot of kits from Dimensions and she stitches on Ada and she's branching out and like as you watch her videos you kind of see her start to branch out. I think she just started dyeing her own fabric and she I think she's discovering the world of like independent designers and things like that so it's fun to watch that um, her kind of grow and what not so definitely check out her if you have not and then the last I want to shout out Michelle Garrett um, Bendy Stitchy not because she needs a shout out because everybody knows her and she's a she's a huge part of this community but I actually got the chance to interact with her um, I was at my local LNS and I try to have a mentality when I'm at my LNS that I think about you guys. I watch your videos, I learn about what you like, what designers you like, what your unicorn patterns are, what you're looking for, and I try to take a mental log of that um, because I am lucky enough to have two LNSs within five minutes of my house. And I know that that is not the case for most people. I know Julie, um, Gulf Coast, she's 300 miles away. Yvonne, Night Owl Stitcher, she's three hours away from the closest LNS. And literally two within five minutes of my house they're across the street from one another like three stitches is on this side of a road it's called Luetta Road and I swear three stitches is like right here and you go down one intersection and over into this shopping center and ABC stitch therapy is right here so and I live around the corner maybe two major roads away but like you know I don't even have to get on a freeway like it's literally around the corner so I try to think of you guys because I know that it's not that easy for everybody to get to their LNS and I can so when I'm there I just try to check it out and I was at ABC stitch therapy and I came across one of the mystery Lizzie Kate mystery um, smalls that Michelle was looking for and so you know I had never talked to her and I don't even know if she knew my channel existed or if who I was she probably thought I was a crazy person but I just randomly messaged her on Instagram a picture of the chart and I said was this one of the ones you needed and um, I was there and she didn't she didn't get my message while I was still there and I had my son so I couldn't stay so I just bought it I was like you know if all else fails I don't have the other parts I can sell it on stash unload or you know something and um, so I just got it and she ended up messaging me back. She's like, yeah, you know, that's not one of the ones I have. And um, she's like, I, I think she had, she had gotten one to borrow or something like that. But she didn't own that chart. Um, 
And so I was like, well, I, I bought it. So if you don't want it, that's totally fine. I'll sell it on Stash and Load or, you know, whatever. But if you do, I have it. So she ended up getting it from me. So I wrote her a note and sent it to her. And um, just she's just a sweet, sweet person. And I know that she has gotten pretty close with Julie at Gulf Coast. And so I feel like through, like, somehow we're, like, friends. <laughs> like, Michelle, be friends with me. Because um, I think she's so awesome. And um, I just... You know, I Julie talks about her, and then I watch her videos, and she talks about Julie, and Julie talks about me and Michelle, and I'm like, me and Michelle have to, like, make this complete. Like, we haven't really talked that much, um, but I just think she's awesome, and she's so, so great for this community, and um, so I wanted to throw that out there. And that's it. 20 minutes, guys, and you haven't seen any stitching. Are you over me yet? Because I told you I had a lot to tell you. Um... All right, so, you know, Debbie Downer over here, um, no finishes again this week. I, I tried. I had a goal. I was texting Kelly, and I was like, I just want to finish something. Like, I'm itching to finish something. I feel like I've been working on all these things, and I have no finishes because I'm working on too many things is what the problem is. So no finishes, but lots of whips, lots of them. I have two new starts this week plus my other whips to show you progress on. So a total of five whips that I'm actively working on right this second. There's uh, there's more, but five that I worked on this week. Um, so I do have two new starts. One is the March yearbook by Lizzie Kate. My goal was to get this finished this month. I don't have very many days left. Today's the 29th, but I'm hopeful that I can get this finished <coughs> as I die. Um, so that's my February, but that is my March start. So I got the whole word done and then the, the roof and the chimneys. And that's it. <laughs> it's pretty sad. But I got it started. So that's exciting. And this is being stitched on 30 count fabric. The tag is no longer on this fabric. But if you go back in my videos, I do tell you what it is. Um, but it, I know it is 30 count. And it is a very large, uh, large piece of fabric. So... It's going to fit all of my things in a row, and then I'm going to have to find a frame, but it's going to fit them. So, so yeah, I've got March going, and hopefully I will have that as a finish for you next week. And then my other new start, I actually have some fun stuff to show you with. So I am stitching a piece for my mom for Mother's Day, and um, I'm really big into gifting cross-stitch. I just find, I like gifting in general. It is just in my personality to gift things. And so I've just been finding all these cross stitch patterns I can give to people. So um, I am stitching this for my mom and it is Lizzie Kate Mothers, number 164. And it says, mothers hold their children's hands a while, their hearts forever. And I just love it. And I did do a conversion on this to Victorian Motto Sampler threads. So I am going to show you that very quickly. Um, and I'm kind of going to reference the chart to show you like where I'm putting what. Um, so I've stitched with two of these colors so far. And I haven't stitched with the other ones yet because I haven't gotten like a ton of progress on this. But let me show you my progress and then I will go through the color conversion. So this is where I'm at. Let me... That's where I'm at. And this is um, Vintage Country Mocha. 32 count Vintage Country Mocha, I think. Um, but yeah, so I got the whole M is finished. And then there, and then the D on hold. And that's it. That's all I've gotten done so far. But I only worked on this for one day. It was really quick. Um, but, so the two colors that I stitched with. So Mother's is called for in like a dark brown. I'm not sure which color it is, but um, maybe pecan, I'm not sure. But it's called for to be in a dark brown. And I actually converted it, it's gonna blend in with my black shirt, but I converted it to sweet violet. So it is a muted dark purple. And it doesn't even like, you can't even tell, but that is what I'm using for mothers, like for the M. And I think it's going to look really pretty. Um, and then the other one I stitched with is from last year's limited edition um, colors. It's called Copper Rose. It's really pretty. And I'm using that, obviously, for the words here. 
And then the other colors I have pulled are Pumpkin Bread. And that is for the planters, um, for the flowers. So that's what I'm going to do for that. And then I have Sage Powder. And obviously that is for the stems of the flowers. And then I have Pink Petunias. Is a really pretty variegated pink. You can't really tell, but it does have some purple variegation in there. And then obviously that is for the flowers themselves. And there are buttons on here, but there is a stitch, a stitch section that I'm gonna do white if I don't get the buttons. I haven't decided yet. And then the last color I'm using is 1940s Aqua. And that is for the squiggly line at the bottom. So all together, I'll show you. Oops. I should probably put the fabric behind here. <clears throat> so those are the colors I'm using. Oops, we got some twisted situation happening here. There we go. Those are the colors I'm using with the fabric. I think it's going to look really, really pretty. So, yeah. If you guys have that chart and you have some Victorian model threads, that is what I'm doing. So I'm excited to finish that. And I think it'll stitch up pretty quick. And then next, I'm going to talk about the whips you've already seen and show you my progress on them. So obviously the first, I don't have the, the chart cover with me. It's over there. But you guys know what it looks like. Um... And this is my crow in the moon pattern from the little stitcher. And I'm going to insert a picture here of what it looked like last week. And then this is what it looks like now. So I didn't do very much, but I did bring this um, limb down and then over. So all of this darker brown is what I worked on this week, and that's all I did on this. I think I worked on it one night, but I mean, it's progress. Progress is progress, so I figured I'd show you guys. So I did work on that a little bit, and then the next whip I worked on is my Prairie Life sampler, because I am participating in the hashtag JK Prairie Life Sal, S-A-L. But I didn't do too much on this, but I did a little bit. Um, so I'll insert a picture here of what it looked like last time. I'm going to try to be better about that because I feel like you guys want to see that. And this is where I'm at. Whoop. This is where I'm at now. So last time I only had half of the bear done and this part of this tree and then this whole tree was done and I haven't worked any more on the border. But I did finish the green tree, finish the bear, I added the grass, this is a little bit of the horse's mane, and I finished this tree. But I feel like I'm so behind because Mama Joan is a freaking stitching machine and so is Julie and I'm just behind. I need to work on this this week. That is the plan. I want to get, I want to get more trees planted. I love it. I love, love, love this. And I love, this is 40 count Lakeside Linens in Pearl Barley. And I love working on this fabric. It's awesome. So I'll show you some haul in a minute where you'll see that I have a problem. You know, what's new? And then lastly, of course, I put in some stitches on my Beauty and the Beast. I did better on this this week. I did give this devoted like three days this week. That I worked on it and so I got I got some progress guys all right so I'll insert a picture here of what it looked like last time you saw it and now the little chip he is finished completely backstitch and all and then this is my castle scene. So you can see where my castle, sorry, I'm flipping you guys off. See where my castle's gonna go. You can see all my sky. I've, I still have a little bit more sky to go, but I did add a lot of sky and some trees over here. It's coming to life. So um, 
I've gotten like a good chunk of this pattern done. It's a square, so I have another little teacup like in this corner, and then some candy, the clock, Mrs. Potts. You know, I've done the mirror, so I have this, so I have this whole section here, and then I have to finish Belle, and that's it, and the castle, obviously. But I'm making good progress. I feel accomplished on it. Um, I'm glad that I put work in it. These blue stitches, there's a lot of them in there. So I worked on that. Anyways, I love this. I love this piece, and I'll show you what I got. If you if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what I'm referring to, but I had a find that I'm really excited about. So that one will come back out in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> So, moving on to haul, because that is all my lips. I have to find where I put my haul now. I'm all discombobulated. <clears throat> it's here somewhere. Oh, I know where it is. I'm going to show you the stitchy, like, regular stitchy haul. Sorry about the crinkle, guys. And then I will move on to the, the finishing haul. Um, so, the first thing that I got this week was I had placed an order with the Cottage Needle on Etsy. Um, whenever I found out Lizzie Kate was retiring, I reached out, or she reached out to me and actually was the one that told me that Lizzie Kate announced their retirement because she'd seen that I'd ordered a Lizzie Kate pattern from her before. And she was like, are there any charts you need? I'm placing an order. And I was like, you know what? I've really had my eye on the Six Fat Men series. Could you order me that? And she was like, yeah. So she did, and I have to print out the border off of Lizzie Kate's site, but I did get all of the Six Fat Men. Um, this one is called Snowed In, F110. And then I got Snow House. And these all come with, like, the charms or buttons or, you know, whatever it's called for on the pattern. And then I got Snow Fun. These are the cutest snowmen. And I saw Steph from Just Keep Stitching when her finished one, and I had to have it. So that one is Snow Friends. This one is Let It Snow. And this one is Snow Day. And they all fit together. Lizzie Kate has like a whole layout for them. So I'm going to print that out, and I'm going to stitch those. So I'm really excited. And then I also got, um, I have to look up on my phone exactly what it's called because I don't, I don't remember for sure. Sorry if that shook. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to my purchases. You. And, okay. So I got a piece of fabric. This is Vintage Meadow Rue. 32 count Vintage Meadow Rue from Lakeside Linens. And I actually tried to use this for a project, so that's why it has a hoop mark. But I decided it was a little bit too dark for what I wanted. Um, but you can't really see the color because it, but it's got like a kind of a pink hue, like modeling in it, like very, very slight, but it's kind of got that going on. Um, and I had initially actually gotten this for my Prairie Life. I ordered this when I hadn't bought that 40 count because I knew I wanted to do lakeside linens, but I had, I was like, wait, I was way too scared for 40 count, but now I'm so glad I did. But this is the 32 count that I got that I was thinking I might stitch it on. But now I have this fabric for something else. So, yeah. So that is what I ordered from the Cottage Needle um, on Etsy. Like their shop a lot. They have a lot of stuff. Um, but now that Julie has a shop, I'm going to be ordering a lot from her if I order online. So sorry to everyone else, but I'm just so excited. And then today, I did a little bit of stitch shopping therapy because I've just been... I won't go into detail, but it's just, it's been a week. So I was like, I'm going to go buy some gifts for my friends and some fabric. I want to build up my fabric stash and just have some options. Um, and then I got myself a few patterns, which I'm going to show you guys, and I'm really excited about them. Um, ABC Stitch Therapy, they have a really weird kind of setup. It's kind of hard to find things, but they have a lot of gems, like hidden in boxes. And they're mostly an online real realtor retail store online retail store um so the way they have it set up when you walk in they have the most awesome fabric selection ever i told you guys that but i hadn't really delved into their patterns but i um i found some and i found a couple and julie already knows this so i can show you guys 
but I found a Kathy Barrick and we all know she loves Kathy Barrick and she did not have this one. So this is called a miniature Quaker sampler and it has a bird and Julie's slogan right now is put a bird on it and it's awesome. So that is a vintage sampler. Of course it has a large house and a bird. I like the grains and she said that she did not have it but she loved it so I got that for her. I'm going to be sending that to her. And then the other one that I found, because I was looking for her, I actually told her that I want to stitch it. <laughs> so I'm going to stitch it, and then I'm going to send it to her when I'm done. And she said that was okay. But not only is, like, this chart totally her, because it has a bird on it, it's folk arty, and when you see the designer, you'll know. But I love its name. So this is Frederick. <laughs> I don't know when this chart was published. I need to look. But this is Frederick, and it is a Carriage House Samplings pattern. And is that not Julie? Like, does that not scream Julie? I, like, saw it, and I was like, man, you have to have this. So when was this one published? Let's find out, because I am curious. <clears throat> and he was stitched on 40 Count Pearl Barley. I can stitch him on my extra fabric. That's exciting. When were you published, Frederick? Frederick is a big pattern. It's much bigger than I thought it was. How big is this? Nine and a fourth by six and nine sixteenths. I didn't expect it to be that big. But that's on 40 count. So if you do 32 count, 11 and a fourth by seven and three fourths. That's a pretty big pattern. Um, when was you, When were you published? I don't think it says guys I wanted to be able to tell you but I don't see it on here the pattern is huge maybe it's like on the pattern somewhere oh 2008 there it is so this is a 2008 carriage house sampling pattern Frederick it's a cute one Cute, 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 cute. I can put him away. <clears throat> Where did I put it? Oh, okay. Sorry. And then I got a couple Barbara Anna designs that I really liked. They're Halloween. Everything they had Barbara Anna was Halloween. I don't know if that's a thing. I know I've seen things from her that are not Halloween. But I got this one. Sorry for the glare, but um, it's called Oh Halloween Tree. thought that was really cute. It's got some pumpkins hanging off of it and a witch, and she's stirring a cauldron. Um, so I thought that would be a good decoration for Halloween. And then this one is called The Branch, Come With Me All Hallows Night. I haven't seen anybody stitch this, but I might just have not come across it yet. It might be older. I'm not sure when this one was. 2013. But it says, come with me all hollows night. We'll frighten everyone in sight. Such pranks for once are justified and fun and frolic amplified. So I like that a lot. Bewitch Stitches. You guys need this one if you haven't. Both of them. And there was one more Halloween design, but I just got these two because these were my favorite. So Bewitch Stitches group. These ones. That should be my thumbnail. Just saying. <laughs> and then I got a couple, two Brenda Gervais patterns. So the first one I got is another Halloween pattern, and I am in love. I cannot wait to stitch this. And I think I've seen this stitched by a couple of different people. So Bewitch Stitches group, you guys. Tune in on this as well. October 31st by Brenda Gervais. How, oh, there's a glare. Sorry, guys. How cute is that pumpkin? And the witch, I just, and I love it. I just love it. And it's got birds on it. So that's always good. And then the other one I got is my first Thanksgiving themed chart and it's got a huge house on it so it should be fun but it says it's called grateful thankful and blessed by brenda gervais and it looks like this i'm going to kind of turn it to where you can see the pattern the right way but it's got like a little man and a woman and it's got flowers on top of the house and it says grateful thankful blessed harvest um on it so i thought that was a cute thanksgiving one 
And that's all the charts I got. Um, oh, it's 37. We're at 37 minutes, guys. This is going to be a long one. And then I got some fabric because I told you guys I wanted to get some cuts of fabric. I should have opened these, but I haven't. I haven't yet. Okay, so I did get some more Lakeside Linens. I did get a 40-count Lakeside Linen um, cut uh, Fat Eighths in the colorway Winter Sky. It is a really, really pretty blue and it's a 40 count and I like it a lot. So I got that. And then, I'm trying to keep this, there's so much stuff. What else did I get from Lakeside? I got a lot of pictures of this plus. Okay, so I didn't get any more Lakeside. That was the only Lakeside I got. And I did get a um, cut from the Odd Cut Bin for 30% off. And it is a 25 count white Lugana. But and it's a very weird cut. <laughs> it's like very weird, very odd. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna coffee tea dye this, and I think it would be perfect for ornaments. And I can just cut squares and have some ornament fabric that's coffee tea dyed. So that was kind of my plan with this because it was like 30% off of nine dollars for this fabric, and I thought you know if I'm gonna try my hand at coffee tea dyeing. Um, I probably shouldn't spend a ton of money on the fabric that I'm coffee tea dyeing, so I just got that cut. <clears throat> and then I got some Picture This Plus. And I got some different counts. So this is a 36 count in the colorway Valor, and this is an eighth. And it is a really, really pretty green. I don't know if that that's true to color, I think. It's a pretty green marbled green called valor so i really like that color and then the next one i got is 40 count rin and it's a fat eighth as well i just got fat eighths so that's rin you guys sort of can see that i love that so pretty don't know what i'm going to stitch on it but I will find something, I am sure. And then I got a 40 count sand, which you guys know I'm stitching um, Beauty and the Beast on crystal sand. So I wanted to get a piece of sand. So this is without the crystal, this is just regular sand. It's really marbled, but it is a neutral. And that's that, and it is in 40 count, like I said. Looking at all that. And then the last fabric I got is a 40 count. I went 40 count crazy. <laughs> I don't know where I'm, what I'm gonna stitch all in 40 count, but I went 40 count crazy because um, I really like working on my heartstring um, samplery. And this is Barnwood, and I thought this would be perfect for one of the Halloween. Like, look how awesome that looks. I really like this dye, this color. It's kind of got a bluish, grayish, brownish thing going on. Um, it's really pretty. Definitely has blue in it. You can see that. But it's pretty marbled. I think it would look awesome on a Halloween piece. Because it's not black, but it's not a light colored either. So that's everything for like actual stitchy patterns and fabric and stuff that I got. But I do have some finishing stuff. And then I'm going to do a giveaway announcement and then we're done. And y'all know what my plans are. Finish all the things. I haven't finished anything. So my plan is to finish something. So that's what I will be aiming towards before my next video. So if my next video is in three weeks from now, it's because I refuse to film until I have a finish. So hopefully that's not the case. But um, Okay, so finishing items wise, I got a few things from Goodwill and from Michaels. Um, so I found, I was at Goodwill and I was like, you know what, I'm going to look at the frames, see if I can find anything for my Beauty and the Beast project because... It's hard to find square frames. I've looked and I've, it's hard to find them. Um, but I found the perfect square frame for Beauty and the Beast. If you check out my Instagram, I'll insert the picture I posted here. But it's perfect. And obviously you can see me. Hi. Um, but it's perfect. And I love it. So... It fits perfect, it's gonna look great, and it was $1.99. So, if you don't go to Goodwill and check out their frame selection, there are so many frames that need homes. So go check it out. 
Um, that was $1.99. I also got a little frame. My brother has to fix it though because one of the corners was broken. So he's like, he has that one. I don't have it. And then the other frame that I got from Goodwill was $3.99. Yep, $3.99. And it has a cute little dog in it called a yoga dog. I don't need a yoga dog, but it's like the frame that I put my sister's piece in that was teal, but it's like a dark brown. And, you know, it's a normal 8x10. It's nothing crazy, but it's in good condition. No crazy scratches. This is like meant to be distressed. Or maybe not that one. But, yeah, because it's on all the sides. It's meant to be like that. Um, so... $3.99. It's a heavy duty frame. I was like, yes, please, me. That's all I got from Goodwill besides the broken one. And then I went to Michael's because they, this was a couple weeks ago. Like I said, I didn't show you guys like I was supposed to in my last video. But they had a 60% off non sale item and then they had 40% off like a ton of stuff. So I got this frame. How pretty is this? For 40% off. And I already know what I want to put in it. My spring um, birdhouses by, once I start them, um, by Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, I think will look awesome in this frame. So I feel like Country Cottage Needleworks just, they, they look so good with white frames. And all the models are in white frames. But this, I just thought this was a beautiful frame and it was 40% off. So I got that. And then the last thing I got from Michaels, I'm not going to be able to show you like all in the frame. But, if you follow Jessie Marie, then you've probably seen this, because she's the one that enabled me to get this. But, when they had a 60% off coupon, I got this. Let me see if I can... Yeah. So, here's the top of it, and then this is the ribbon that I got. I'm going to tie a bow, like here. But, this is for my Farmhouse Christmas series. And, there are nine spots, which is perfect. And they all have little clips, so I'm going to finish them in, like, flat um, flat finishes. And then hook, oops, hook them in the hooks. And I think it's going to look so cool to pull out at Christmas. And then I can always change it out if I want to do it seasonally and clip in any other series that I decide I want to clip in there if I do another series. But I'm going to put that down now because it is extra large. But, yeah. I got that for 60% off. It was originally 80 bucks. I got it for obviously way cheaper than that. So that was a steal. And so you guys keep an eye out for Michael's coupons because they randomly will do like a 60% off one item thing. And that's an awesome frame. So you should definitely keep an eye out for that. All right. So I guess the last order of business is giveaway. So as of the time I am filming this video, I have to find my phone. I lost it now. It's missing in action. Where did I put it? No clue. Okay. Um, well, I won't be able to tell you an exact number, but I think I'm at 417 subscribers as of right now. So, and I'm gaining a lot each day. Um, I'm getting more traction on my channel for sure. So I don't think that I'm very long, like very far away from having 500 subscribers. So I wanted to announce what I'm doing for my 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, so once I hit that number, I will announce in a video the, that the giveaway is actually starting. But what I want you guys to do is to comment in this video... And if I make another video before I hit 500, then you can comment in that video as well. But starting with floss tube number eight, I will use those comments as giveaway entries. So then whenever I hit 500, I will pick a winner and we will um, do the giveaway. So what I am going to do is I want you guys to comment below. Do not say giveaway. Obviously, we know that that is a cardinal rule of floss tube giveaways. Do not use the word giveaway or the, way, the word free below. Um, you need to be 18 or older or you need to give me your parents permission. Your parents need to contact me and give me permission to ship to your, to get, for you to give me your address. But being 18 or older just makes it easier. So um, let's aim for that. And um, you can be anywhere. I will ship internationally because of what I'm doing. 
I'm gonna do something for me and then something for you to pick out something for yourself. So, um, as you guys know from my prior announcement, Julie at Gulf Coast Stitches um, has a online needle workshop and so I talked to her and what she is going to do is I'm going to purchase um, a gift card for whoever wins and she is going to do something special for you guys as well. She hasn't sorted out all the fine details of it, but it's probably going to be something along the lines of free shipping or um, a coupon that amounts to free shipping to pair with the gift card that I get you guys. Um, so I'm going to get you a, a $25 gift card to gulfcoaststitches.com and I am going to get you three colors of your choice of Victorian Motto Sampler Shop Threads. So, um, Nancy, uh, I can either order them, have them shipped to me, and then send them out to you, or I can give Nancy the address to send them to, um, if you guys are open to that, whichever way. Um, so you will get $25, $25 gift card to Gulf Coast Stitches from me, and then whatever Julie throws in, which I will announce whenever we're putting the final like announcement on the giveaway, um, you will get that and then you will also get three Victorian Modern Sampler Shop Threads. If you do not know what colors they have, they have a website or an eBay site. A, she has a blog. I'll link all of that below. Um, but I also have a video where I went through all of the colors that I received. So if you want to reference that, if there's a color that you really liked from that, um, then you'll get some Victorian Modern Sampler Shop so you can try them. So if you are interested in that, Comment below, and I want you guys to tell me, hmm, what, who is your favorite designer? So tell me that below, because I'm always looking for new designers, and I'm still learning every day. So um, tell me who your favorite designer is. Tell me that in the comments below. Do not say giveaway. Be 18 or older. Do not say free. And I will let you guys know. Oh, be a subscriber. You have to be a subscriber um, and I will check that so I know how to do all that because I've been doing this for a long time <laughs> but I will check make sure you subscribe and um, yeah I will pick the winner as soon as I hit 500 subscribers which should be soon so I love you guys that's it it's 50 minutes almost exactly I'm sorry for the long video don't hate me I'm sorry um, and I will see you guys once I finish something because that's the rule I'm not coming back until I have a finish I will be hanging my head in shame if that's the case. So I love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful night, and I will talk to you later. Bye.